Okay, now we are going to wax the top. I've waxed the entire thing, and now we're to the last step. And with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use a rag versus the paintbrush. I don't really wanna see my strokes when I go on this, but you can see your strokes if you want. That's no big deal. I just prefer to have a little bit of a smoother application. I want, And you can see it going in, as a matter of fact. When it starts drying, it will lighten up a little bit, but you can see as it's going in, just kind of like a fine butter. Real simple. Just rub it on in. Also, because it's the surface, I'm, I am going to put two coats on this. So we'll, you'll, you'll see the one coat, but I'll go ahead and finish it with two because this is going to get a little bit of extra wear. So any place that's going to get wear like this, um, you're going to want to go ahead and use two coats. The other thing is that if you are doing something for a child and you wanted to leave the top as a chalkboard, right now I could actually write on this with chalk. Um, so you wouldn't wax it if you want to use chalk on it. One more thing about applying wax, you're not going to want to do this in the sun. It will melt it and then it will start kind of not setting well. So in the Texas heat especially, make sure that you're in the garage or in some place that's covered. And if possible, do it in the morning. That way the fumes won't get you. Well finished up. All right, so if you're going to give this two coats of wax on the top like I'm doing, make sure that you buff in between steps. So you'll know it's ready to buff when it is kind of uh, I would say a little bit murky in appearance, a little bit misty looking, kind of frothy. That way you know. Um, anyway, so you're going to go ahead and apply the second coat after you've buffed. And you can see it's really looking nice. It'll soak up in the wood pretty nicely too. 